I'm back with my signatures, numbered and in order. <laughs> And um, I am going to go ahead and open my useless for anything but book binding yellow pages here and pierce. So um, again, this is really important to try to keep this perpendicular, to keep the all perpendicular to the hole as you pierce. And with a twisting motion, down you go. Just use that twisting motion and keeping the all perpendicular to the gutter of the signature. Okay. Okay, the piercing template comes out now. You've got number one done. Looks like it's going to fit up nicely with the spine on your book. So we're good. Flip it over and continue with the rest of your signatures. Three more signatures. We're almost to sewing now. So just putting my last piercing stations into my final signature number four here. I'm leaving the paper clips there and um, you can even see how I went off a little bit on this signature. That's because I probably wasn't holding the all totally perpendicular. And that's, that's what happens. Can you see that? How it doesn't, it's a little bit into the signature. Well, sometimes we have to live with these errors. So I don't need this anymore. I'm going to put that away. And we are going to get ready to sew. Okay, so I've got my four signatures. I've got my cover. Let me just show you what we're going to do here. I've got my tapestry needle. Okay, so first let me show you the waxed, I mean the um, hemp. Make sure if you're buying hemp that it's relatively smooth. Some of it is, some of the hemp is kind of lumpy, which will, could cause a problem as you're going through, as you're sewing. So this is my wax block. You can use a candle. And all you need to do is lay that on your candle or wax block and draw it through and you'll get a coating of wax. The wax helps to keep the um, stitch in place and it also helps to guide it through the holes. So if I'm using unwaxed thread, I always wax it even in like a tiny signature tiny book binding where you could use something like embroidery thread if it's one signature you want to wax it if you're hand sewing it. Okay so the hemp is ready to go but I'm going to use wax linen because it's a little clearer here. Now the first thing I'm going to do which usually you don't do is leave the end of the the, the thread the um, spool end uncut and I'm just going to thread up my needle and if you have any trouble threading up your needle smash it down 
with your bone folder and you'll have it a really flat oops like a flea circus needle okay so just get that in there a couple of four inches okay 